Hi, I'm registered dietitian Jacqueline Gomes. Kids grow up fast and their appetite can give you an idea of just how fast they're growing. If you're like most families, you are busy, busy, busy. So let's put together a quick, delicious, and of course healthy meal that you and your kids will love. Today we're going to prepare a chicken veggie pasta. You're only going to need one pot. I love one pot meals. It not only makes prep easy, but cleanup is easier too. So let's get started. We're going to start off with one pound chicken breast and I've cut it up into one inch cubes. I have one can crushed tomatoes. We've got an onion chopped. I have a bell pepper chopped. We also have uh, white button mushrooms that I've quartered. We're going to use a whole grain pasta. Um, I've chosen rotini, but you can use whatever um, shape that you enjoy. And I have about one and a half cups here. And then we're gonna finish it off, of course, the little Parmesan cheese and some fresh basil. So we're gonna saute our chicken first. So I'm gonna start off using a, you wanna use kind of like a heavy pot for this. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of canola oil here. You can use olive oil if you like. They're both healthy oils. Just gonna wanna swirl this around a little bit. And I'm gonna add my chicken breast. And you just wanna season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. And here we go. All right. So I'm gonna get a little pepper on my chicken. And we're gonna let this cook for about five or six minutes. And then we're gonna set it aside and throw in our veggies. So you wanna cook your chicken on a high, medium, medium high heat. You wanna get a nice golden color on your chicken. You don't necessarily have to cook it really all the way through because when we add it back into the pot, it's gonna cook in the tomato sauce, okay? So that looks pretty good. So I think we're ready to set it aside. So I'm just gonna lower my heat a little bit. You can just put this into a dish, set it aside. So our chicken's done, so we're gonna set it aside while the vegetables cook. I'm gonna add my bell pepper. Next, we've got our onion. And now we're ready for our mushrooms. Oh, this smells great already. Once your onions and peppers start cooking, they start to really smell sweet. You can really almost get that sense that they're starting to caramelize. Now, the mushrooms have a lot of water, so they'll release that as they start to cook. Now, you kind of want to do these on high heat because you don't want them to steam. You really want to get a nice sear on them and really start to caramelize those onions and peppers. Okay, so we're gonna let these cook for probably another five or six minutes, and then what we'll do is we'll add our chicken back and then our tomato sauce, and lastly, our pasta. So we're almost there. Back into the pot it goes. Toss up our ingredients. All right. Now you're ready for your tomato sauce. And lastly, our pasta. So now we're gonna cover our pot. We're gonna let this cook for around eight to 10 minutes. Okay, our food is done. Turn off our heat. Grab two pot holders here. And let's walk over to our dinner table. smells delicious. Okay, so everything's cooked through. I like serving this in a bowl. Everything's cut up into bite-sized pieces, so you really don't need a knife necessarily. I like topping this with a little Parmesan cheese, of course, and a little fresh basil, and you can just cut them into little ribbons here. Just gives um, nice flavor, also some nice color to your dish. Um, these one pot meals are terrific for make ahead as well. I like to prepare it on Sunday night and that way it's ready to go for Monday. All you have to do is reheat it. Um, this really is prepared in under 30 minutes so you can have a fantastic, delicious, healthy meal for your family any night of the week. 
Thanks so much for watching. Now let's try it. Let's see how good it is. Mm. Awesome. The cheese really does make a big difference. I love adding Parmesan cheese to tomato-based um, dishes. Um, the pasta is just perfect, not too heavy. Um, and the chicken, of course, is tender. So I really hope you enjoy it. And thanks so much for watching, everybody.